what's up guys welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you're new today is friday and after my lab lecture i have officially completed my first week of summer classes so we only have five weeks to go which is really scary because it's so much information to cover i spent most of the morning working on experiment three so this is kind of what it looked like we had to just do some equations it was actually pretty simple but i haven't finished this last part so i did this table but i have to do this and then we have to upload the information into excel and then do some stuff on there so i'm almost finished with this and this isn't due until monday so i'm gonna get it done today and just be done with it because i want to spend a good chunk of time today going over the chapters for lecture my class just let out and we're about to make something for lunch chad suggested that i make a veggie wrap with hummus because he made one of those the other day and said it was really good so that's what i'm gonna do for lunch it's a very rainy day outside even though you cannot tell on my camera at all veggie wraps for lunch and we use carrots these little baby sweet peppers um, the roasted garlic hummus and then this is the wraps that we use these organic sprouted whole wheat wraps and then obviously there's like a spring is this a baby kale mix um yeah okay so baby kale mix lettuce and um yes super good and healthy okay update i got some packages in the mail so i thought since my vlogs have just had no real substance to them. I would do a little unboxing haul and show you guys some of the stuff I ordered online. But before I get into that, I also got something in that I already opened and it's my GRE test prep book. So basically summer A is when I'm taking Gen Chem 1 and the lab and then summer B I'm gonna be studying and taking my GRE. So I got the test prep book in. I'm not really gonna be looking at this too much until after chem is over but i am one step closer to getting this thing done with so there's that i don't want shipping labels in this so i'm just gonna move these over so this is not even that exciting of a haul it's actually actually one of the packages is kind of exciting so this first thing is just some concealer literally that's it this whole box this whole sephora box has nothing but an orange concealer in it um i just got the radiant creamy concealer I don't even know if I got the right shade because this is back when everything was closed. I think Sephora is probably open now, but I needed a darker concealer. This looks like a good shade. Um, and I wanted to try the NARS one, so I, just, I got this one. I hope that it's good. I've been self tanning, so I needed a darker shade. This one is kind of exciting. This was probably a bit unnecessary, but I tend to make unnecessary purchases. It is a mini Can Can backpack in the mint green color. And I saw this on sale on Urban Outfitters and I was like, I have to have that. And I had a reward that was about to expire on my account. And so I was literally just looking for something to spend my reward on. The color is so freaking cute. And I actually feel like this might fit my iPad in it, but I don't really intend on using it for that reason. Um, I really just wanted to use it because we had a vacation over the summer and I thought this would be like the perfect bag for when walking around. I also thought this would be good for like the beach or when you go to like Universal and you're walking around and riding rides, like just some kind of a backpack to carry everything. You don't want to like have a purse on you. Um, so yeah. It's really cute. I can't wait to use it. And then the last thing, which I think is the most exciting, is I have a little mini haul from Forever 21. And I actually ordered this stuff like two weeks ago. It took forever to get here. Um, but it's finally here and it's just some new clothes, honestly. Um, I've been cycling through clothes like pretty quickly. But one of my goals for today actually is to start getting together clothes that I'm not wearing anymore and posting them on Poshmark because I just have such an accumulation of clothes. I will be working on that hopefully today. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into it. I will link everything that I'm talking about, by the way, as I always do. 
So the first thing is just this basic v-neck shirt. I really like basics from Forever 21 because they're pretty inexpensive and this one is very soft but like sheer material so it won't make me super hot and it's in a size mediums. Next is this tank top, which is so cute. It's like a sweater material and it's striped. Oh, this is a maxi dress. I got this also for my vacation in July. So, just like smocked at the top and then it's like really flowy and obviously it's just plain black maxi dress. So this would be good to wear like over a bathing suit or maybe like out to dinner. And then I got this really cute tank top that has like ties up at the top. Probably should have went with a small. This looks really big, wide looking, so maybe I'll wear it with like a pair of high-waisted shorts and just tuck it in or something. And I got a white tank top that has buttons on it. This is so cute, I love this. I hope it's not too, too low cut. Then we have another basic. This is just a nude cropped tee. I feel like I keep saying everything's cute and perfect, but this was a very good haul. So I also got this smocked tank top. Very, very cute. It ties up the top as well. Clearly, I really like that style. And then the last thing is a tie-dye smocked cami, whatever you want to call it, that also ties up the top. Apparently, I was really into things that tie up the top when I was shopping for this, but it's very cute. I thought this would be good for the vacation as well. Pretty wide, so I hope this is... Because, like, the smocked stuff is supposed to, like... This is uh, looking... Like it's gonna be too big. If it is, I will just sell it on Poshmark. That is it for my haul. Now I need to get back to doing my schoolwork. The party's over. So I just realized in yesterday's vlog, I never showed you guys our shelves, so yeah, they turned out really good. I got a bunch of the stuff that you see up there from Target and then from Hobby Lobby. And I also got this little like leaf thing from Hobby Lobby. So I think it looks really cute. I kind of still want to find something for a rate on this side because it's just like too much blank space, but I do really like the way it looks. So I'm brewing some more coffee right now, even though it's like after four and I usually don't have coffee after four, but I still have things I gotta get done, so your girl needs some coffee. But anyways, I wanted to take a second to tell you guys about something literally so freaking excited that I have been working on for the last few weeks now, and I just haven't told you guys about it because I couldn't really tell you about it yet, and I still can't like actually tell you tell you, but I can hint at something big that is coming soon so i am launching something i'm not gonna say what um but as soon as i get an official launch date then i will tell you guys what it is and everything um i'll probably make a whole video about it but i am so excited to tell you guys like it's really hard for me to wait on this because it's huge for me and it's super exciting i know you guys are going to be super excited and i really want to share like the behind the scenes of getting this whole thing set up i'm like trying to figure out how i can hint at something without actually saying it right now but anyways i'm sure somebody's going to figure out what it is um but yeah something big is coming very soon so stay tuned yes we love a nice fresh hot cup of coffee one packet of raw sugar a little bit of half and half this is all stuff that i have to list on poshmark so i don't think i'm going to actually model any of it i think i'm just going to take pictures of it on a hanger for the sake of time but if i have something that's not selling then maybe i'll go back and take a picture in it but a lot of this stuff is like new with tags things that i haven't worn and i don't think i'm going to wear tell me if you guys think i should cut my bangs like right here these are just like mostly baby hairs but do like bigger chunks and then cut them like right here so that they frame my face because i really really am liking how i just like pulled out these little pieces in the front i just feel like it looks really cute and i normally always have my hair up like this and i really like how it looks with these pieces but i literally just pulled them out they are just like strands of hair and if i keep doing it it's gonna break anyway so i might as well just cut it but they're kind of like side bangs which is a little bit of a commitment and once i cut it i can't go back but i really want to do it i took all the pictures for poshmark and i'm finally about to start uploading everything this is crazy i have needed to do this for so long i can't believe i finally decided to get this done today
seriously took me forever, but I listed everything on Poshmark and I'm just so proud of myself. So here we are. Make sure you guys go check it out. It's XO Melissa Lucy, the same thing as my Instagram. Chad is currently cutting up veggies. We're making farro bowls for dinner tonight. The farro is cooking and I'll show you guys which one that we use. It's this Italian curled farro. Chad and I have had this carrot cake mix in there for a while. I don't remember exactly why we bought it, but it's been up there for a while and we got the brilliant idea that we should make carrot cake cupcakes tonight with this cream cheese icing. So that's what I'm about to do while Chad's cooking dinner. The finished product on the farro bowls they're so good it's got zucchini asparagus parmesan cheese and walnuts on top i feel like i've shown this before in a vlog i don't know anyways that's really good i just finished icing all of these cupcakes and i'm gonna send these ones to work with chad tomorrow so he can feed the firefighters and i'm honestly so bothered by the fact that this made enough to fill this entire one and then this one is almost full minus one i am so excited three of you guys already purchased some things from my poshmark that is just such a good feeling because most of the stuff is things that either don't fit me i didn't like how they looked on me or i'm just honestly never gonna wear i am just so glad that i'm getting rid of all this extra stuff and making space for new things i'm actually about to make my vlog go live that's my first day of summer classes but i am gonna go ahead and end today's vlog thank you guys so much for watching and if you're not already subscribed be sure to click that subscribe button and i'll see you in my next video